Jira 2 sleeping bag, XL size. Right, this sleeping bag, just purchased it recently. I've got a 54 inch chest, so I'm oversized for it. I can fit in it. It's as tight as mostly any sleeping bag I buy. DD sleeping bag. It's got the Oxford material foot box, so you can put a wet foot in it or you can step on wet ground. It's rated down to a minus five rating. It's got a front zip, so it's in front of you on top. Like so. It's got a hood. It's got draw cords, it's got baffles, and it's got large pockets inside. So we're going to test it now. We're going to see if we can get into this. With my shoes on, more than likely. Just to give it that test it's designed for. To be honest, I'm not going to wear my shoes. I don't like putting shoes in sleeping bags. I'm going to get a ground mat out and then I'm going to come back to you. Every time I think I'm going to wake up back in the jungle. Every time I think I'm going to wake up back in the jungle. Right, I've got my shoes off. So, the idea is you step into the bag. As you can do off of a ground mat apparently. But I don't like getting my kit covered in so. This is where I fall down the hill, isn't it? But it's a bit slippery. Try and do a zip up. I think if I had the hood over my head, let's try that. Get that hood up. I say I've got a 54 inch chest. This is comfort rating to 49 inch on the XL, but when it comes to room, I don't know if you can see how much I've got. I mean, it's a mummy sort of bag, but I don't feel mummified. Now we've got to try and get in the hammock. This is where it could go all wrong. Oi! Doesn't help being on the hill, does it? I've got to get out of the hammock after. Right, let's see if we can swing it. Bit caught up on that under blanket. wasn't too bad. I can't review this as a sleeping bag because I haven't slept in it yet. Just showing you it. But so far it's doable isn't it? If I didn't have the under blanket on that wouldn't be in the way. Let's just move up a bit that might be a problem. I'm sweating, I'll tell you that. This is warm. I think to get out, I'm going to 
pull it so it's properly with my feet down. Being on a hill, trying to get up a hill, can be awful. Proper testing people, no messing about. <laughs> Kangaroo pool, yeah. Yes, yeah, alright, I am sweating. Proper sweating. You can say I've got a 54 inch chest and you are snug in it, but I'm oversized. Right, it's got a um, two way zip. So you've got your normal zip and you can open it from the other end to give yourself some ventilation down by your feet. The zips feel good. It's like a crash zip, you know, there's nothing wrong with that zip. It's got an internal baffle this side, so when the zip's up, it keeps your heat in, because obviously heat rises, this is at the top. The funny thing is, it doesn't tell you on the bag, it's an XL, it just says on the pack it comes in. The only way you can tell is by the measurement of the pack and the weight of it, I suppose. You've got your drawstring hood, so you can pull your hood and it pulls your baffles, which is this one, for baffles. We've got a Velcro fastener here. Is, that's the baffle one, it's your normal one. The baffles are Velcro as well, so you can bring the baffles together. And that one's the rough one which would scratch you, so they've put another patch there so you can fold it back on itself so it doesn't scratch you. Like I say, it's got big pockets that can um, hold quite a bit, but if you're in a hammock, you're going to have a hammock pocket somewhere. You wouldn't use that, would you? Maybe that paranoid to keep it in your pocket in your sleeping bag. You shouldn't even be in a hammock in the woods. Right. I don't know what the rating's like for cold, because it's hot and I'm sweating now. After getting in this. The bottom, You've got, a, I think they're tie outs for um, pegging. So if you're sleeping on the ground, you can you can peg it with the peg outs. Or you can hang this to keep to air it when you're at home. Or dry it. It's only short and sweet, this one, but it's just to show you it. Obviously when I start <coughs> doing some overnighters, I'll be using it. 